so this is an example how a, a small spark program look like what i'm doing here i think i have shown you earlier how a word count program look like so this program uh, is from scratch this is like this is a written in a dot scala file like a uh, simple app dot scala and you have to build your program and you will create a jar file and that jar file you have to run it so it's a single simple app program uh, which you can compare it with the java i have importing my spark and text here and all over the uh, libraries which are under spark and text and spark config account i'm using here importing here for initializing the configuration parameters so this is my target file okay and i'm initializing my uh, configuration here by new spark conf and setting up the, my application name here simple project so why i'm doing this set app name if i'm setting my name simple project here and running that program on the top of yarn so i would be able to see that program by this name on the resource manager so by this mean i will show you uh, in a practical way <coughs> how can we check that but if i'm getting a uh, application simple project some suppose in a production a lot of applications are running with a different different project how can i recognize your application is there so by that name you will be able to initialize you will to recognize your application and with with this configurations you are initializing your spark context here and then you are loading your file so what is this why i have done that okay slash 2 so by this mean this spark context dot text file target file comma 2 that mean i am giving a partition so this is a partition i am providing by default so my file will be split it into two partitions that means the two partitions probably save into two uh two of nodes okay this is i'm giving a statically but it will automatically divide your file into uh small small input splits and store into your uh different different manage uh different different executors and then i'm storing it on the cache so that by this mean <coughs> i'm storing it in in memory and then i'm filtering it i'm filtering the line contain the copyright this is a lambda function by line line contain copyright then it will filter out that line and count number of lines which contain copyright character and in the last line it will print the the lines which contain word copyright in this format okay so this is a simple program which only check how many lines contain copyright and provide information to you so yeah as i have shown to you uh, in the previous one where why we are using the spark context i have given you a small overview in the basic in the one line why we are using uh, spark context to making uh, in or out from our spark framework okay in mapreduce also we have the context we have used okay mapreduce context context the similar way the spark context is used to interact your framework so how your driver class is interacting with your framework program some of classes i have written in a framework okay so they have written and how can my my program 
get related to, get interacted to how I'm providing my input and how I'm getting an output out of my context. How can I making a counters like uh, and broadcast variables, how can we use it? So that is uh, the case why we are using a Spark context. So that is used in a primary way to making in or out from a Spark framework. So that is uh, used for interacting um, our driver ap application, which we have writ writing here in a shell, to making an interaction with our Spark framework, which is coded internally, which is also running with our program and using, so extending the property of our context, we are providing our text file here and counting number of lines. So how many lines are there? 574. Now suppose I have to store it to RDD. Uh, so I have to store it to uh, another text file. So what I will do here, I will store it count. Uh, let me check on it right here. Yeah. So what I will do there, I will use count dot save as text file and then I'm giving a path hdfs slash slash suppose I'm storing in a temp okay so count dot exe so in a similar way I can store it okay so now there my spark and text I have initialized here okay which has become uh, RDD, okay, named by the, my file, and RDD, which is an array of string, and then I'm storing that RDD, okay, to the text text file in a slash temp slash count dot which is an HDFS. Okay, 